Alright, so before I start this video, I just want to say I am forever grateful for Hamza. He is the one who exposed me to self-improvement. He was the one who told me how to improve my improve my life, improve my mental health, improve my social skills, basically everything. And while I, I was the one who did put in the work for that, he was the one at the end of the day to show me this lifestyle. And for that, I'm forever grateful for him. Now, one of the main things that Hamza has always promoted is to not live a degenerate lifestyle. For example, like not drinking, you know, not doing, not partying, like just being a good person and not doing like degenerate things. But in his recent videos, he has kind of become a degenerate himself. He went from preparing to become a father to now being in a double date, in a very degenerate like double date that he went on with his friend. And obviously a lot of people, like a lot of Hamza's fans were very like confused and like they were, the comments were like all like, you know, like, oh Hamza, I thought you were preparing for fatherhood. Like, why, why are you going on dates and why are you, why, why are you becoming a degenerate again? Why? Like, you're becoming the very thing that you swore to destroy. And while I'm a massive fan of Hamza, because again, he's literally changed my life, I have to sort of agree with these comments. He's, he had, I mean, it's hard to like say, it's hard for me to voice my opinion because at the end of the day, Hamza, like he's, he's his own person. He can do whatever he wants. It's his choices at the end of the day. And that, if, as long as it doesn't affect me, as long as it doesn't affect you, we shouldn't have an opinion on it. But since I'm such a big fan of Hamza and since I like him so much, I want to voice my opinion online. I'm not going to try to change Hamza's opinion. I'm not here to disrespect Hamza. I like, there's no hate. There's obviously no hate towards Hamza. I still love his content, but he, like, it's undeniable that he's taken sort of a different route uh, compared to what he, you know, what, what he was doing in like 2023 and 2022. A lot of people are saying that, you know, he's changed a lot. A lot of his, like, you know, his own fans, his own, like, people like me who are big fans of him, a lot of them are saying, you've changed, you know, what happened to become you becoming a father, like, all this stuff. And while I do agree that th this is something that I did not expect from Hamza, at the end of the day, it's his choice and it doesn't affect us and I'm not going to try to change Hamza's opinion. While I do disagree with what he's doing, it's his life. If he thinks that, like, he's he's obviously way better than me in all aspects of life. So, if he wouldn't listen to me for advice, who am I to give him advice, to uh, give, give my opinions on him? It's not going to affect him at the end of the day. It, like, my opinion is definitely not going to affect him at the end of the day. If he thinks that this is, like, you know, this is what he should do, this is what, you know, he should kind of live like a de degenerate life, he should kind of live like this more social life at his age, and he thinks that's the best thing for him, he has my respect. Because he's still uploading videos while he knows that he's going to get hate. His videos have gotten like 30%, 40% dis like to dislike ratios, meaning like a 70%, 60 to 70% of, of people have liked the video, and the rest have disliked the video. And, and while that might seem good, Hamza's videos have always had like a 99% like to dislike ratio, meaning 99% of people have liked it and 1% 1% of people have disliked it. Now it's 30%, 40%, 50% of people have disliked it. He knows that he's still going to get hate, but he's still uploading videos. He's still saying what's on his mind and he's still giving us like value. And why, why so why is he uploading videos when he knows that he's going to get hate? It's because he wants to give us advice. He wants to teach us a lesson. He wants us to get learnings from this. And I don't know about you, but I actually have learned a lot from Hamza's most recent videos. So while I don't necessarily agree on what he's doing, I still respect him loads because he's he's still uploading videos, even though even though even though he knows that he is going to get hate. He's still uploading all these controversial videos, even though he knows he's going to get hate because he is authentic and wants to spread his message online and he wants people to get le uh, people to learn lessons from his videos. He wants to teach at least something from his videos and I can only respect that. So I see a lot of the people in the comments like, you know, not hating on Hamza, but basically just disagreeing with him and, you know, saying like, you know, oh, like this is different, Hamza's different, all this stuff. At the end of the day, that like, yeah, I, 
I agree with that. I, I do agree with some of the things that the comments are saying. And I do agree that I would never do anything like that when I was, especially at the age of 26. I'm 16. So especially at the age of 26, I would never do anything like that. Anything like Hamza is doing. But I can still appreciate the fact that he's still uploading videos for us. And he's still giving us free value. And he's uploading every day. If he really wanted to, he could just stop uploading videos on YouTube. He still has his program that earns him like $200,000 a month. And he could just live his life completely normally, just without uploading videos on YouTube. But he still does. And he gets barely any views. He only gets like, like compared to his subscribers, compared to the amount of subscribers he has, he barely gets any views. But he still uploads vi videos. And I can only appreciate the fact that he's being authentic and he's also he also wants us to learn lessons. So while you and I might disagree with Hamza and while we might have all these things to say about Hamza, I feel like we should be a little bit more grateful that he's still uploading videos and he's still giving us lessons to teach. With that being said, I still disagree with what he's doing. I still don't really like I don't agree with the step that he's taking. I feel like what he was doing in late 2023, like preparing for fatherhood and stuff. I feel like that was much more like beneficial towards him. And I feel like he's definitely taking the wrong step. But again, I'm nobody. I'm a 16 year, I'm 16 years old. He's 26. He's way more experienced in life than I am. And at the end of the day, I'm just a fan. He doesn't even know that I exist. So he can do whatever the hell he wants. And it doesn't affect me and it doesn't affect you. So we can give our opinions. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter. So yeah, I'm not trying to like cater towards Hamza, but at the same time, I'm not trying to be a hater. I'm just saying that we like, we can have our opinions to ourselves. We just, sh we just shouldn't try to convince Hamza otherwise. We shouldn't try to convince Hamza to stop, you know, stop doing what he's doing. Stop being a degenerate, stuff like that. Because again, that's not going to change anything. He, he, the opinion of a 14 year old fan is not going to phase Hamza. At least we're still getting videos every single day from him. And if you disagree with whatever he's saying right now, you still have his old videos that you can watch. And I can only appreciate that he's being authentic. But even if this is the wrong step, like objectively, it is actually the wrong step. At the end of the day, like the next three months, he's going to make another video saying, yep, I was wrong. And I shouldn't have never done any of the things that I did in London and stuff like that. He's he's going to like if he's right. If he, if whatever he's doing is right for him, then that's good on him. And we can just, you know, we can congratulate him for that. But if it's wrong, he's going to come back to us and say, I'm sorry. I should have listened to you guys. And I should have learned that. Yeah, this is the lifestyle that I, I this shouldn't be the lifestyle that I should live at my age. So either way, it's a win win because I have the type of person where if he makes a mistake, he'll say that he made a mistake and he'll say that. Yeah, I was wrong. I'm I, I apologize. So even though I don't agree on the path that he's taking, he has still changed my life and I'm still forever grateful for him. And I feel like if you're in the same situation as me where he has changed your life, I feel like you should be grateful as well. You can voice your opinion, but again, it doesn't really matter at the end of the day and it's just a waste of time. That's really about it.